Before the universe was born there was something. In the chaos of the heavens, it may be regarded as the mother of the universe. Because I do not know its name, I call it Tao. The Tao is like an empty container. It can never be emptied and can never be filled. Infinitely deep, it is the source of all things. Freed from desire, you can see the hidden mystery. By having desire, you can only see what is visibly real. Yet mystery and reality emerge from the same source. The master can act without doing anything. And teach without saying a word. When her work is done, she takes no credit. That is why it will last forever. The master leads by emptying people's minds, filling their bellies, weakening their ambitions, and making them become strong. The master puts herself last and finds herself in the place of authority. She detaches herself from all things. Therefore she is united with all things. The supreme good is like water, which benefits all of creation, without trying to compete with it. Only when there is no competition, will we all live in peace. When you have accomplished your goal simply walk away. This is the pathway to heaven. Giving birth and nourishing, making without possessing, expecting nothing in return. To grow, yet not to control, this is the mysterious virtue. We mold clay into a pot, but it is the emptiness inside that makes the vessel useful. We work with the substantial. But the emptiness is what we use. Too much activity deranges the mind. Too much wealth causes crime. The master acts on what she feels and not what she sees. She shuns the latter, and prefers to seek the former. Success is as dangerous as failure. And we are often our own worst enemy. The reason I have an enemy is because I have self. If I no longer had a self, I would no longer have an enemy. Love the whole world as if it were yourself. Then you will truly care for all things. Look for it, and it can't be seen. Listen for it, and it can't be heard. Grasp for it, and it can't be caught. The master doesn't seek fulfillment. For only those who are not full are able to be used. Which brings the feeling of completeness. If you can empty your mind of all thoughts, your heart will embrace the tranquility of peace. The best leaders are those the people hardly know exist when they have accomplished their task. The people say, amazing, we did it, all by ourselves. When the great Tao is abandoned, charity and righteousness appear.
When intellectualism arises, hypocrisy is close behind. When there is strife in the family unit, people talk about brotherly love. When the country falls into chaos, politicians talk about patriotism. Forget about knowledge and wisdom, and people will be a hundred times better off. Throw away charity and righteousness, and people will return to brotherly love. Throw away profit and greed and there won't be any thieves. Embrace simplicity. Put others first. Desire little. How do I know where creation comes from? I look inside myself and see it. If you want to become whole, first let yourself become broken. If you want to become straight, first let yourself become twisted. If you want to become full, first let yourself become empty. If you want to become new, first let yourself become old. Those whose desires are you get them. Those whose desires are great go astray. When you do not trust people, people will become untrustworthy. Those who stand on tiptoes do not stand firmly. Those who rush ahead don't get very far. Those who try to outshine others dim their own light. Those who call themselves righteous can't know how wrong they are. Those who boast of their accomplishments diminish the things they have done. Heaviness is the basis of lightness. Stillness is the standard of activity. If you let yourself become distracted, you will lose the basis of your power. The master is willing to help everyone, and doesn't know the meaning of rejection. She is there to help all of creation, and doesn't abandon even the smallest creature. This is called embracing the light. The world is a sacred vessel and it cannot be controlled. You will only make it worse if you try. The master accepts things as they are. And out of compassion avoids extravagance. Excess in the extremes. When the battle is over, arrogance is the new enemy. War can result when no other alternative is given. So the one who overcomes an enemy should not dominate them. The strong always weakened with time. Those who rejoice in victory delight in the slaughter of humanity. Those who resort to violence will never bring peace to the world. Those who know others are intelligent. Those who know themselves are truly wise. Those who master others are strong. Those who master themselves have true power. Those who know they have enough are truly wealthy. Those who persist will reach their goal. 
Those who keep their course have a strong will. Those who embrace death will not perish, but have life everlasting. The great Tao flows unobstructed in every direction. When it has accomplished great wonders, it does not claim them for itself, because it does not seek greatness. It is able to accomplish truly great things. If you want something to weaken, you must first allow it to become strong. If you want something to be removed, you must first allow it to flourish. If you want to possess something, you must first give it away. If rulers could follow the way of the Tao, then all of creation would willingly follow their example. The highest good is not to seek to do good, but to allow yourself to become it. When the Tao is forgotten, there is righteousness. When righteousness is forgotten, there is morality. When morality is forgotten, there is the law. The law is the husk of faith. And trust is the beginning of chaos. Do not shine like the precious gem, but be as dull as a common stone. All things carry yin yet embrace yang. They blend their life breaths in order to produce harmony. In losing, much is gained, and in gaining, much is lost. That which offers no resistance overcomes the hardest substances. That which offers no resistance can enter where there is no space. Knowing when you have enough avoids dishonor and knowing when to stop will keep you from danger and bring you a long, happy life. Whoever knows contentment will be at peace forever. Without opening your door, you can know the whole world. Without looking out your window, you can understand the way of the Tao. The more knowledge you seek, the less you will understand. The Master understands without leaving. Sees clearly without looking. Accomplishes much without doing anything. One who seeks knowledge learns something new every day. One who seeks the Tao unlearns something new every day. Less and less remains until you arrive at non-action. When you arrive at non-action, nothing will be left undone. Those who celebrate life, walk safely among the wild animals. When they go into battle, they remain unharmed. Keep your mouth closed and embrace a simple life. And you will live carefree until the end of your days. To wear fancy clothes and ornaments. To have your fill of food and drink. And to waste all of your money buying possessions. Is called the crime of excess. To unnaturally try to extend life is not appropriate. To try and alter the life breath is unnatural. Those who know do not talk. Those who talk do not know. Stop talking, meditate in silence, blunt your sharpness. Release your worries, harmonize your inner light. 
and become one with the dust. The more prohibitions you make, the poorer people will be. The more weapons you possess, the greater the chaos in your country. The more laws that you make, the greater the number of criminals. I do nothing, and people become good by themselves. I seek peace, and people take care of their own problems. I do not meddle in their personal lives. And the people become prosperous. If a government is unobtrusive, the people become whole. If a government is repressive, the people become treacherous. Those who use moderation are already on the path to the Tao.